I'm Chris at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing. It's a nice February day here in Wisconsin. It's about 20 degrees, a little light snow, uh, perfect firewood weather. Today I want to take a look at our 24 foot firewood conveyor. We make this in a 16 foot, 24 foot is the most common, gives you about 12 feet underneath the grizzly bars. And we also make the 32 footer. These are all welded. This whole trough is welded together one piece. Uh, no bolt-on connections. It's solid, right? Everything's made out of 11 gauge and 10 gauge steel. We make the frame out of eighth inch wall, three by two tubing. And we have a hydraulic drive system on up and down and forward and reverse on the conveyors. Okay, we power that with a, I think it's a six horsepower Honda GX200. And then we have our valving here. Okay, we got forward reverse, up, down, and a relief setting on the valve so that if something gets jammed in the conveyor, you can, uh, the, the hydraulics are gonna kick out so it's not breaking anything. And if you do get jammed up, you can just go in reverse and it usually clears out any kind of jam. Now this trough here is 15 inches wide. And the reason why I do that is so that your, most guys are cutting at 16 inches long and I want the wood to go up in this direction. I want the wood to go straight up the trough. Okay, and then when it gets to the end of the trough up here, and it hits these grizzly bars, I want it to tumble lengthwise so that it cleans the wood more efficiently. And so that those grizzly bars are gonna sift through a lot of that, that slash and stuff off the splitter. And it's gonna ride down this trough into your, into your bag or into a, a, a bucket or you know a bin down below. Uh, it's gonna keep all that stuff out of the wood pile. Um, it's not it's not 100% but it does catch a lot of it and uh, keeps you know keeps those customers happy so they're not dealing with a bunch of crap in their wood pile when you do go to deliver one thing that we do here that a lot of places don't is we make this hub hub assembly articulate side to side so when you're filling like a 14 foot dump trailer like that one right over there you can back the trailer in somewhat centered and you can just turn these hubs 90 degrees and swing that whole conveyor side to side you just roll the tire and it moves really nice and easy and of course everything we build is fully assembled full of oil tested and ready to run We've got hydraulic tank here you can see there's a thermometer inside it's going to tell you your your temperatures of your oil um, this aw32 has a has a good range on it uh, for this oil uh, you can run from zero degrees fahrenheit up to 160 degrees fahrenheit so plenty of plenty of range there if it's below zero a lot of guys use like a magnetic block heater to heat that oil up before you go to start the engine. Another thing that we have for this end, for that swivel action, when you go to rotate the whole machine, it works really well to have this uh, that pivot action coming off the center of the conveyor. So then you're not moving your splitter side to side to try to stay in line with the conveyor you can actually swing about 30 degrees side to side without having to move one of you know one of our splitters and uh, in order to do that we have this little ball plate here basically you're gonna drop that jack all the way down until you can set that tongue right on the ball plate underneath the splitter and be able to swing side to side and keep that that funnel centered on your splitter the uh fire this up now and I actually have this this wood pile is getting bigger and bigger we keep splitting probably 
oh, six hours every weekend. Just have my, my sons come in and, and earn a little extra cash by splitting wood. And the pile keeps getting farther and farther out uh, into the into our usable lot here. What do you guys think? Is it a keeper? I think I'm keeping it. I think I need to keep. <laughs> I think I need to keep one for myself one of these times. And uh, this is going to be the one. Because here we had a little bit of time in David's schedule. David builds all our conveyors. He does a hell of a job. He uh, he's very meticulous. So if you uh, if you have one of these and you see David's welds and there's anything wrong with them, you let us know. I'll, I'll let David know that uh, there was a weld that looked ugly on your machine. Um, but anyways, here, all this stuff on here is, is included. So the grizzly bars, the chip separators, the articulating hubs, all that stuff's included. You can see how much reach it has here. It has probably about 10 feet of reach. So. We've actually used it to uh, load our 12 foot dump truck that we used to have, old dumpy. I'm sure you saw the video, the old firewood truck. Um, we used to end load that with this 24 footer. Okay, so you could back straight into the end of it then and be able to load a 12 foot flatbed dump. Um, you know, and then uh, of course for like a 14 footer or for a bigger triaxle truck or a, a 16 foot dump trailer or something like that, uh, you can always articulate the wheels and spin that conveyor side to side and allow you to keep throwing wood in, uh, keep splitting wood and without having to, okay, go fire up the truck, move the truck again every, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. Um, that that saves a lot of time just being able to roll that conveyor side to side uh, It helps a lot So anyways guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this machine and Definitely hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of new content coming up um, All the stuff we use here for making firewood our own products of course that we make and We do have a chainsaw giveaway coming up. I heard I heard that uh, we we're going to do something with a chainsaw giveaway and it's definitely not going to be a little homeowner, you know, MS-251 
you know, and the, the ported 170. Yeah, that doesn't fly here. We're gonna do a, a giveaway. We're gonna make it worthwhile. So, thanks for watching, guys. Check out our website, wolfridgemfg.com, and see all the info there. Prices, lead times, all that kind of stuff. All right, take care. Thanks.